Hi. So our goal today in this quick guide is a little different. Um, it's, we're not going to touch WordPress directly. I just want to give you know, an overview of some of the most basic terminal commands that I think someone needs to know to really be uh, effective on the command line. And this is relevant for WordPress developers, I think, for a whole bunch of reasons. Eventually, you'll end up needing to SSH into a server, or you might want to understand the command line better. Uh, I wrote an article this week that's a summary of what the command line is and how it works. Um, but to start to give people a sense of how it actually functions and how you work on it, I want to do a little demo. So on the left, I've got a finder window. And on the right, I've got a terminal window, a bash terminal window on my Mac. Um, and these are currently looking in, these are currently sitting in the same folder. So if I look here and I say uh, PWD on the command line, that's a shortcut for present working directory. Uh, it tells me where I am. It says I'm at dash users dash David, which is what I'm seeing on my finder window here, users David. So it's the same basic thing we're seeing on these two sides. So if I want to see in the command line what's in the directory, the next thing I do is ls. I think of it as short for list. I honestly don't know exactly what it stands for, but it gives me a basic layout of what's there. If I want a little more detail about what's there, the most common flag that people use, flag is a little argument you give the, the function is L, and that gives you a whole bunch of details about it. This middle column is the size, the left one is the, the user, the middle is the group, the far one is the name, and so on. And these are like permissions and stuff. It's a lot of really intricate stuff, Again, for your basic understanding, all you need to know is that ls will list what's there. And if you need more details, you can do things like dash l. The last thing that I really think is necessary to understand is cd. And cd stands for change directory. And it's how you basically move around your file system on, on uh, terminal. So if I want to go into my Dropbox folder in Finder, I double click on Dropbox. If I want to do it on the command line, I type cd Dropbox. If I want to go a little level deeper, I can hit cd, let's go into uh, web dev. You'll, you'll notice that, that just I only type we and the rest filled in. That's because I hit the tab button. Tab is a nice way when you're doing these file movements that the terminal will autocomplete for you. So I think I've got a folder in here called WP Simple Dev. And again, if I type WPSI, I think that'll be unique. And it indeed was. Now, if I hit tab again, twice simultaneously, I will actually see um, the listing of everything that's in that folder. Uh, the last thing to really know is that, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna hit PWD again to list where I am. I mean, users, David's Dropbox, web dev, WP Simple Dev. If I type CD, dot dot this is the last thing i really think everyone needs to understand i go up a level so i i am now at when a pwd i'm no longer in the, the wp simple dev directory i'm now in the web dev directory i can hit that again and again and now i'm up two more levels because i put that dot dot dash in there uh, so if i hit pwd i'm now at users david again that is i went up through web dev and dropbox into the David directory. So ls tells you what's in a directory, pwd tells you where you are, and cd lets you move around. cd with two dots will move you up, and that's really the core stuff that I think you need to understand to be effective moving around a Unixy file system from the command line. Hope that's helpful.